So I just have some 10 things. Jordan's licking the floor. Like just like continuously licking it. I'm sorry. You could miss it. What is up guys? It's Sophie. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 summer must-haves that you must have in order to have a good summer. Well, you don't you don't need them. Like you're probably going to have a great summer without these things. Summer's approaching. I'm looking out my window and it's gloomy as hell and it's raining. It, it looks nothing like summer, but technically like it, it's approaching. I just finished my last day of school on Monday, so it really does feel like summer right now. So I thought, what better time to make this video than right now? So these are just like 10 must-haves that I always use throughout the summer. Subscribe if you aren't already. Click the notification bell. Click the bell to get my notifications because YouTube is just like playing all of us like I don't I don't know what they're doing but they're playing us if you want to see more of me every single week twice a week then click the bell next to the subscribe I don't even know where it is I'm not gonna pretend like I know where it is it's a bell icon and just click it then you can be notified whenever I upload so yeah that's basically it and without further ado let's get started The first summer must-have that I, I honestly feel like we all must have, like this is not optional, deodorant. If you want to smell good this summer, and all the time really, this is not just a summer thing by the way. I feel like me showing deodorant in my summer must-haves like insinuates that it's only used in the summer. It's not. It should be used 365 days out of the year. But especially in the summer because we're all sweaty, we're all hot, you know. Please, please get some deodorant this summer. The second must-have that I feel like we all need, a pair of sunglasses. I have two. The first ones are my clout goggles. I honestly wear these religiously. I wear them all the time. I used to feel like they were a joke. Honestly, to me, these are not a joke. If it's sunny, I'm, I'm going outside of my clout goggles. They look great on me. And I love the white. It really brings out the, the melanin chocolate of my skin. Then I also have these glasses. These are Coco Chanel. I did not buy these. My mother bought these and then she gave them to me because she has so many pairs of sunglasses and I honestly feel so fancy when I wear these. It has a little Chanel logo and I'm just like, ooh, like, damn, like. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. What number am I on? Three? I think I'm on three. The third summer staple, staple, summer staple. Okay, let me calm down. The third must have that I feel like everyone needs this summer is like a good pair of sandals. I have these and honestly, I've been waiting to wear these for a long time now. These are originally from American Eagle Outfitters, but I got them from Depop for like $12, so it was a really good deal. And I got them like fall going into winter of 2017, so I couldn't even wear them, but I knew that I wanted them for this summer and it's finally summer, so I get to wear them and they're so cute. I also really do want a pair of Birkenstocks. I never hopped on the Birkenstocks trend, I think I'm gonna do that this summer as well but just like a nice pair of sandals because you know a lot of the time like I'll just wear shorts a bodysuit and like converse that's boring like that's a fourth summer must-have is a good book to read this summer I'm someone who reads constantly I love reading books there are a lot of people who don't so if you don't really like reading then this doesn't apply to you but you should like reading like reading's great reading books is a really awesome I feel like everybody can like reading it just depends on the book the book that I'm currently reading that I will probably finish by the end of the summer is white trash the 400 year untold history of class in America that's that's my idea of a fun summer <laughs> it's a pretty long book but it's really interesting it's very dense and it's very wordy but it's great I would recommend it if you're down to have a conversation about race and social issues if you're not then this book is probably not for you but any book any book that you find interesting pick out and read this summer. A fifth summer must have a disposable or Polaroid camera. I have my Polaroid with me. I literally just had my disposable yesterday, but I got the film developed in digital form and physical form. So I have all of these pictures that I took with one of my best friends. And I honestly prefer disposable cameras because you can get the pictures in both print and digital form. Disposable cameras are cheaper than Polaroids, but you're gonna have to buy more than one depending on how many pictures you're taking. Polaroids, you just buy one and then you just buy the film after that. Physical pictures are great, but then I would also like them in digital form, you know? And then like, I love the film look of disposables too. So disposables have been my thing so far and I'm probably gonna get a lot more. They're so easy, like you can just buy them at any drugstore. It's literally disposable. You can throw it out when you're done, after you develop the pictures, of course. There was a time when, oh my God, I was so 
freaking dumb for this. I would go to summer camp and I would bring disposable cameras. I took the word disposable literally, like when you're done, you just throw it out. So I would take a bunch of pictures at camp and then when I was done and it got to zero, I would just throw out the camera. Like I wouldn't get the pictures developed or anything. Like I would just throw it out and then I would come home from the summer and then my parents would be like, oh, do you want to get the pictures developed? I'll be like, what pictures? I threw out the camera. I, young Sophie, I don't, I don't know. I don't, if you're asking, like, I don't know either. So don't throw out your disposable cameras before you get the pictures. Get the pictures first. Oh, number six is a good go-to swimsuit and or bikini this summer. If you're going swimming, girlies, and you want a good bikini or a good swimsuit, you know. I was sitting on mine. This yeah. swimsuit is from Tory Burch and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it really accentuates my curves, you know. I don't know, like any bikini or swimsuit that you feel good and comfortable in and don't mind going out in. Not for anybody else, but for yourself, of course. I don't know, I just love this. I honestly don't even see myself going swimming this summer because Coney Island is trash. I mean, it's not trash, but the water is genuinely and literally trash. Not trash as in like, it's not fun, like, it's filled with trash. And then Far Rockaway is just far as hell. So I don't think I'm going swimming this summer. But just in case I do, I have my swimsuit on deck. The seventh must have of the summer is a portable charger. I've gotten into the habit of actually charging my portable chargers. I think I have like five now. I recently got a new one. So that might actually make six. I don't even know. I've lost count. They all used to just like not be charged, but now I've gotten into the habit of charging them so that you don't just have like dead pieces of metal just sitting in your bag or in your house. Like charge your portable chargers. I plan on going out a lot this summer. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get with the links, you know. I'm trying to have fun this summer. A dead phone is not fun. It's not fun at all. No stress compares to when you're like hanging out with friends and it's a good time and then like your phone is dying and you're the only one with like the dead phone. Like that's, it's not fun. Trust me, it's not. But then like how cool would it be if like your phone is dying or even better like someone else's phone is dying and you're like, wait, I got you though. Like you're that one plug, like. Get a portable charger. Number eight, hopefully this video is not too long and I'm not talking too much, some sunscreen. I'm going to talk about this because I feel like it needs to be talked about. There's a common misconception that black people don't need to put on sunscreen, like black people don't get sunburned and that's not true i promise you it's not true i've been sunburned before i've only been sunburned like once in my entire life but it still happens sunscreen is really important especially on black people especially dark skinned people if we're affected by skin cancer it's harder to tell because our skin is dark so like any small mark that indicates skin cancer like will be harder to see on us than it would on our fellow caucasian counterparts so use sunscreen this summer please please be safe please protect your skin because you need it no matter what shade you are we all need sunscreen this is the banana sport 30 spf um ooh. Ooh. oh my gosh why am i like an idiot like i'm why am i dumb i opened it for no reason at all and it just like squirted out on me. this looks gross at least i'm staying safe the ninth must have this summer is a water bottle and i know like a lot of people mention like getting a water bottle but it's honestly really helpful number one because you should be drinking water throughout the day during the summer all the time so that you don't get dehydrated but it's better than buying a bunch of like plastic water bottles you can have a reusable one the amount of water at least that i drink throughout the summer if i were to buy a plastic water bottle i would be wasting so much plastic and like throwing out so much plastic when i can just be drinking out of a reusable water bottle so it's better for the environment Look at me, green soap. Like, I feel like that meme when you bring your own bag to the grocery store and it's just like that man in nature. That's what I feel right now. Also, you can like put other things other than water, like some DIY lemonade. I don't know. I think I did a video on that actually a couple summers ago. I think it was like DIY ice cubes. Oh. I like being independent. Put the blueberries, sort of like cut the ice cubes. I'm just going to place into the jar. My 10th summer must have is a journal. Honestly, I would recommend using a journal all throughout the year, but just because people tend to have more time throughout the summer, writing down your thoughts, feelings, like anything really, not even just like a diary entry at the end of the day. I write in here like anything that pops into my mind, anything, and it's for me, you know? And like if you don't know what to write, there are some journals that have like 
prompts or sentence starters or things like that or like we'll ask you questions remember those journals where it was like pepsi versus coke am i the only one who remembers that get yourself a notebook or a journal to write in the summer so that's it for my 10 summer must-haves this 2018 if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you're doing this summer or where you're going i was trying to say both at the same time i'm staying in new york city this summer i'm trying to do a lot you know i'm trying to be lit i'm trying to you know um i honestly don't know what i'm doing so i my summer plans are not concrete i'm trying to go to afropunk let me know if you're going to afropunk i'll see you there if you're going but yeah that's basically it for this video i love you all very much and i will see you this saturday with another new video bye